Hey there, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly reading with me. This is for the week of February 1st through February 7th, 2021. All right. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. If this isn't your story, your uh, situation this week, then look into your other signs, your moon, your rising, or Venus. Um, and just know that energy is fluent. So this may have already happened for some of you. For some of you, this is currently going on. For some of you, this may not happen to later on in life for you okay um if you have not liked already please do and subscribe please and thank you gemini please show me messages for gemini for the week of february 1st through february 7th please show me messages for gemini and love what is going on for gemini please show me show me messages for gemini G -g gemini Show me messages for Gemini, please. Spirit, show me. Show me messages for Gemini. One more. Okay, see, I don't, I don't, I don't like that energy. Okay, wait. I'm getting the song, um, Sweet Cherry I'm gonna carry you home. Someone um, could have recently lost someone. Uh, someone could have passed or... Sorry if you may find out that, but um, that's what I'm picking up for someone. Okay, that's not for everybody. Okay, so don't go worrying. All right. Show me a message for Gemini, please. For the week of uh, February 1st through February 7th, please. And thank you. Thank you. Gemini, please show me what is going on for Gemini. Hmm. Gemini. Okay. Gemini, you feeling hot and bothered. Like, show me more. Um, all right, Gemini, it looks like some of you want to either offer an apology to a Pisces Cancer Scorpio or um, you're thinking of this person. Show me more, please. <clears throat> Okay, listen now. So they want to give me the whole deck for y'all. <laughs> so we're not gonna rock like that. Please show me. Okay. Jeez. Some of you could be in non communication, especially the way these cards are talking. It's taking a long time just to get one card out. Show me. Listen here, Gemini. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh uh. All right, Jim. What is about to happen for Gemini? Please show me. Bear with me, Gemini. Okay. Ooh. All right, Gemini, your reading is really, really, it's really messed up. All right, so it looks like you want to offer an apology or communication to possibly a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I feel like you're obsessing over this, the thought of this person or the thought of possibly communicating with this person, okay? Some of you, it could be the opposite. It could be the other way around. This person may be obsessing over you, um, thinking about you, wanting to offer an apology to you if they owe you an apology, okay? However it goes for you, okay? 
Um, it definitely could have been a lot of illusions in your past due to this situation, not knowing um, why or what due to your circumstances or situation with this person, with the Seven of Cups showing up in your past issues. So a lot of confusion could have been wrapped around you in the past. This is so crazy because this flowing right into what's behind you is the manipulation. It was definitely someone doing some type of spell work on you. Show me more with this magician in reverse for Gemini. Some of you, it could have been you because this is Gemini energy. Some of you, it could be a Virgo. <sighs> Clarify the magician in reverse. Yeah, it could be a Virgo with the King of Pentacles showing um, in reverse. Whoever this is, um, this person isn't stable, okay? It could be whoever. It don't necessarily have to be an earth sign. It could be any sign. And that's this is just the energy that they're um, embodying, which is unstable, instability, um, with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, so with this instability, this person felt like, oh, since... Oh, since you won't commit to me, I'm going to do my magic. Like, what? <laughs> Show me more with the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Magician in reverse. Show me more for Gemini, please. This is a crazy reading because it's more to it. Just a moment. Yeah, and this is causing... Okay, so someone is definitely doing some effery. Okay, and it's causing this sleepless nights, anxiety, whether this is um, you, uh, someone causing this on you, or you're causing this on someone, or someone is causing this on your person. But whatever the situation is causing sleepless nights, anxiety, restless, okay, um, in your thoughts is judgment. You are wanting to resurrect a situation or um, a connection with someone, possibly, um, with this person in your current present moment energy is a water sign pisces cancer scorpio you um adore this person or they adore you however it goes for your situation there's definitely some obsession here with the um devil here that's clarifying that page of cups now this judgment is definitely letting me know that you want to resurrect this connection you want to bring this back around you want to renew this or this person is wanting to renew this but this is in your thoughts gemini what's about to happen i have the tower here with the king of swords and reverse so this tower here is definitely an abrupt ending something ended quickly and it could be why this is why the confusion was here it could have been someone had a lot of options and um this confused someone and chose the wrong option or chose someone else and this caused caused this uh instability in someone's life in your life Life, their life whoever life okay and someone was definitely causing manipulation here so with this abrupt ending this is what's about to happen so something is about to just come crumbling down this could be a home this could be a relationship a situation whatever you have going on um this definitely could be a situation um pertaining to you with the king of swords here in reverse this is this may have you furious this may have you upset because you are in the knowing of this person manipulating you um or you just know this person ain't right whoever this is and it's causing disruptions to your life and it's just causing you to be angry upset uh highly highly upset this is um you having no feelings for this situation due to them um causing havoc to your life um so you're in um you're definitely unemotional and anybody could have it. Whoever come to you with some whatever, you you about to chop off everybody. Like, all right, show me more with the King of Swords in reverse for Gemini. King of Swords in reverse for Gemini. Seven of Wands in reverse. So this could have happened because you didn't set boundaries. You did not uh you did not protect yourself. Some of you, you need to, okay? You may need to protect yourself from this person. Some of you, this may not be your energy, and this is the energy of the other person who's causing hell to your world, all right? Who's causing this? Like, no. So with this seven of wands coming out in reverse, if you're not protected from this person, you know who this is. 
right away you knew exactly who this is who this was so with that being said you need to protect yourself however you have to do that if you have to get a restraining order hey do that if you have to cause blockages from this person you need to do that however you need to do that because this seven of wands is in reverse showing that there is no protection that's why things is happening the way it's happening show me why with the seven of wands in reverse yeah, it's causing heartbreak. This is per pertaining to a third party. Yep, this could be about a home, a marriage. You could be married or this could be pertaining to your home. Um, something is going wrong. Everything is going wrong due to a home situation, due to your love situation. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Well, Gemini, this is what's going on. Someone is definitely messing around, trying to cause this um, on the spiritual realm. It could be the mother of your children or a mother. You could be dealing with a mother. Um, this is uh, Libra energy or Taurus. Show me more with the Empress. Or this could be the child's mother, a child's mother that's causing this. Show me more with the Empress. Yep. This person is deceptive. This person is deceptive. If this isn't a child's mother, this is possibly someone you consider to be or wanted to have in your situation is. It could be your mother, okay? But this person is very deceptive. You know right off that. You know who this is. This is not someone you got to ponder about. If it is, then this is not your story, okay? But this person is deceptive and causing hell to you, uh, hell to your life. Um... Yeah, yeah. This person, this could have been going on for some years too. Did it? This thing just happened. I feel like it's just getting to the point where it's boiling over, where shit is just hitting a fan. This could have been happening for a while. Yeah, and this person is spying on you too. They spying on you. When you think they're not spying on you, they spying on you. And then I have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So I have the Queen and King. So this this son of a Rather male, female, okay. Um, but you you're in reverse, and this is a this could be you, that could be you, however, whatever. But that I have the king and um queen of swords in reverse. Someone's home is going through some hell, like arguments, fights, disagreements, sneaking, cheating. Like it's just it's nasty, it's nasty energy here. Someone is like, uh uh, I'm stressed. This is stressful. Wow. It could be, uh, mm. some of you, it could be a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's causing this into your world. Okay. This person is unstable, emotionally unstable. This person may have a mental issue too. Maybe mentally un unstable. This queen of wands, they know what they're doing. It's not, they know exactly what they're doing and they're playing hella games. Hello games with you, Gemini. Yeah. If they if you may be hearing something from them today. If you haven't blocked them, you need to. But this person is trying to come in and cause some problems in your world. Yep. Look at that. Cause some problems in your world. Five of Swords. Listen, they come in quick. Arguments, fights. This this person is evil. Who is this? This person is evil, Gemini. You need to block yourself from this person. And it could be about money. This person want money from you. <sighs> Some of you, you may want to offer someone stability. You want to, but you have a lot going on here. And it's like you want, you, you're desiring somebody. But outside of that, you have a, a lot going on. A lot of craziness. Yeah, you want to move forward. Show me more with the chariot. Yeah, you want to move forward. Some of you are moving on. You may want to. You could be. Some of you have some money coming in too. You have some money coming in. Um, and this is going to bring you more stability. You're going to feel more stable. Some of you, you could be involved with someone who is financially stable. And very given to you. Some of you are wanting to move jobs, change jobs. 
You could have dealt with this person at your work, at your job. This person is coming to your work. Some of you, are poli police is coming to your job. God damn. Some of you, this person is causing problems in your world. Some of you, you have met this person at work. Some of you are dealing with this person at work and this person is causing hell to your life. And some of you are wanting to move jobs, okay? For some of you, that is it. Some of you are wanting to go towards someone that you want to work on it with. Show me more with the three of pentacles for Gemini. 15 minutes. Three of pentacles. Tell me more with the cherry and the three of pentacles, please. For Gemini, with what's about to happen. Yeah, just know if this haven't happened, it's about to happen. Like, yeah, it's about to happen. Okay, so if you haven't moved yet, some of you need to move home. You need to move jobs. You need to move, okay? Some of you, you're in the mix of doing that, and it's going to bring you success. <laughs> Six of wands. This success is going to bring you success with doing this because whatever energy you're surrounded by is just causing stress and anxiety to your world. OK, um, the hangman in reverse. <sighs> some of you have to make a selfish decision. OK, because some of you are thinking of others more like, well, if I leave or if this, then what about that? But what about your sanity? OK. Because that's what I'm picking up with this hangman in reverse. You have to just be selfish sometimes. So um, if you leave in a situation to bring you peace, a peace of mind, do so. Yeah, you need to do so. A relationship, a connection, a, um, a home environment, drama is like... Some of you, you, you're wrapped around other people drama. Because this is a couple here. If you're not married, it could be a married couple. Okay? Some of you, it's not. It's just your ex. A baby mama is here. A mother is here. A husband and wife is here. Like, you have a lot going on in this energy. And it's so not cool. Yeah, and it's causing this, Gemini. It's causing you to feel weighed down. Like, overwhelmed with so much. You have way too much going on. You need peace. You need to heal. Yeah, you need to come out of this devil energy, okay? You need to come out of this. Because this is this is causing you to... Man, it's, it's like you're... It's, oof, I can't even talk. It's just too much. It's too much. All right, so let me pull one of these. What kind of love reading is this? This is just drama. Your reading is drama. <laughs> drama, drama, drama. I don't know how many, how many times I just <laughs> cleared the deck or whatever. Show me messages for Gemini. Gemini, please. Some of you could be dealing with the um, fair male or you could be the fair male. Like and collect this. Show me messages for Gemini. Some of you are involved in an open relationship or, you know, you, know, you and your person decided to do that whatever the case some of you you was doing that <laughs> show me messages for gemini gemini please all right let's see some of you will be traveling or you need to travel you're thinking about traveling yeah that would be great right now right go for it if you can do it I know I am. <laughs> Show me messages for Gemini. All right, Gemini. Yeah, some of you definitely, um, you have somebody watching you heavy, okay? This could be um, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini that's watching you very, very much so. And it's in reverse. This person pretty much cold to you, but yet watch you, okay? I feel like this person got their eyes on you strongly. Show me messages for Gemini. Yeah, you could be in non-communication with someone with the communication in reverse. But I feel like you may want to communicate with this person. You could have been dating this person, but you're not dating. So I feel like you have someone you're interested in and someone you're not interested in. This person that you're not interested in is, is hell to your life, okay? Show me messages for Gemini. Any other messages? 
If you notice, like, things, a lot of things just going wrong, going wrong. That's because someone is definitely doing some magic on you. Some evil magic. Some of you are, um, you could be dealing with someone who who is very attractive. You find this person very attractive. They may have um, red or, or blonde, blonde hair, whatever. Um, past love gifts. So this person could be very giving. I felt that in the beginning of your reading. So whoever this is could be very giving to you, very loving, past love. It says past love. So someone is on your mind, okay? Show me more. You could be thinking about giving to this person. It's a twin flame. That's why the... Sh so some of you, if you can't get that, that's why the obsession was showing with that devil and the page of cups. So some of you are obsessing, obsessively thinking about this person. This could be sexual. This could just be wanting to be wanting to apologize or just thinking of this person or this person is is thinking about you a lot but either way that strong connection is due to it being a twin flame so no matter how much you pull away from this person you still feel a pull like dang i'm trying to walk away but i can't walk away i'm trying to stop thinking about this person but i keep thinking about this person because they're a twin flame so you could definitely be in disconnect with this person, I feel like, with this wallflower. Some of you are possibly um, in non-communication, but you're thinking about dating. Oh, I, look, you got too much going on to be thinking about dating anybody right now, okay? Clear up your mess. Clear up this mess. If it's not your mess, you need to get out of the mess because it's surrounding you. Any other messages? Jeez, for Gemini. Your reading is long. Okay, so I'm done with this bag. So some of you could be in an open relationship or you have decided to do that because you, I feel like because you're afraid, afraid to settle down. Okay, or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Afraid to get hurt, you know, but whatever. Show me messages for Gemini. Gemini love situation. It's all, <laughs> I just don't know, Gemini. It's too much. I don't even know. Like if your love situation is is too too much. Yeah, you need to retreat. Okay, some of you are in retreat from your person. You may end up marrying this person, or um, cause it looked like. Show me messages for Gemini. Gemini, show me. Some of you need to let go of control issues. Stop trying to, okay, see, that's where it is, the communication part or the disconnect, And but you have a pull. This is your twin flame. It just showed. So you have a pull towards this person, but yet you're trying to control your feelings, trying to control the communication, trying to control this not coming together, trying to control it. And they're saying, no, let go of control. Show me messages for Gemini. Gemini. One more. Thank you. Gemini. Let's see. Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini with their love situation this week? They're saying forgive. You need to forgive. You need to learn from the situation. They need to forgive you and learn from the situation. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. That's what they're saying. Show me more for Gemini. Any other messages for Gemini? Please show me. Gemini, thank you. Let your friends help you. Ask for, for support. I mean, ask for and accept support from others. So maybe you, you just want to um, get answers to this situation. Like, damn, you know, I still love this person. What should I do? So some of you could be in your thoughts a lot. All right. Some of you, you need to just ask spirit. You need to ask your angels, ask your ancestors, ask God. Don't uh rely on you know friends and family go go in prayer you know so some of you that's what you need to do and that's your friends <laughs> show me any anything else for gemini damn gemini did not mean this yep free yourself free yourself from this situation that's 
causing um blockages in your love life and causing um turmoil and havoc like it's causing a lot of disruptions you need to release yourself from this nest I just heard this, okay? Yeah, pay attention to the red flags. Some of you, you're involved in a situation where you're not relieving or you're not releasing yourself from. And it's it's that's why you're feeling way down. Remember that it showed. You're definitely feeling way down, overwhelmed, okay? Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini love? Please show me messages for Gemini. Gemini, please. Okay, Gemini. It says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So some of you want to rush into a love connection. They're like, uh, or something you're trying to do. They're like, wait, okay. Let's see more. Let's see. Okay, wait, wait. That's way too many. <sighs> Lord. Whatever. It's a lot though. Okay. So you have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will, will magically transform. So some of you, you could be in non-communication due to this, criticizing one another or whatnot. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So bring balance into this as well. Life is a series of constantly shift, shifting cycles. When we resist change, hmm, that came up. We, when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So that goes into let go of control issues, okay? Where I was saying that, uh, or Spirit was saying that, um, try not to control the situation. Like, if your heart is feeling um, like you need to be with this person, why control that with, with um, and it's out of fear though. It's definitely out of fear um, and not want to communicate or just um, trying to, uh, trying to avoid a connection basically. And it could be due to fear, due to uh, feeling like this person may hurt you or you may hurt this person. You just got to go with the flow with things, you know? But anyways, um, Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. All right. So, Gemini, you you got your messages. You know what you need to do. It's, it's definitely clear. It show what you need to do. So, I'm going to um, extend this as well and figure out some more things in your, in your reading. Um, what are your fears, your person fears? Um, how are others viewing you? How are others viewing your person? Uh, what is it that you're wishing for? What is it that they're wishing for in the outcome of this situation? Okay. All right. If you have not um, joined the channel, you definitely can do that. The link is listed in the description of this video. If you have not liked the video and subscribed, please do. And until next time, Gemini, I wish you all many, many blessings. Bye.